Hi, I'm Kirby Allison, founder of The Hanger Project, and I'm here today to talk to you about the importance of dry cleaning. Now, Ray Fabricare is probably one of the best dry cleaners in the nation. Um, and, uh, you know, I never thought that I would ever pay $25 to have a shirt dry cleaned or laundered before, uh, but wait until you see what they're able to do. So, uh, yes, that's right. I actually mail some of my dry cleaning to Arizona for Ray Fabricare. Uh, and um, as everyone knows, you know, your wardrobe really lives and dies in the closet, and the lifetime of a, a really nice piece of clothing uh, can quite literally be measured in the number of times that that piece is laundered or dry cleaned. Uh, we recommend dry cleaning and laundering as little as possible. So suits, for instance, you know, you don't want to send suits to the dry cleaners uh, any more frequently than what is absolutely required. Uh, you know, should you spill something on your suit or something happen that gets it dirty, then you would send it to the dry cleaners. But otherwise, I mean, you wouldn't ever have a reason to dry clean a suit. Um, so the next thing to think about is that whenever you do send a suit to the dry cleaners, if it's an important piece, um, you don't want to just send it to any dry cleaners because you don't know how they're going to treat that. And so that's where a place like Rave comes in. They really specialize uh, in dealing with the most high-end, uh, well-made, and handcrafted garments. And they have a highly specialized, unique operation. Um, so let's open this box and then afterwards we can talk a little bit more about dry cleaning. So uh, with Rave, it's quite simple. You print out a service form, you mail in your stuff to them, uh, and they dry clean it and then they send it back to you in about two weeks. Uh, so these are some shirts um, that I sent off. And you want to be careful opening the box because if you get too uh, zealous with your scissors, uh, you wouldn't ever want to be responsible for actually uh, cutting something, which I did once with uh, one of my bespoke Charvet shirts. So there's no question that $25 is expensive for dry cleaning. It's actually, you know, borderline outrageous, but there is a, a, a claim or an argument, I think, that can easily be made for Rave that actually supports the value behind that. The problem with a lot of other dry cleaners is you can easily find some that will charge you $12 to hand press uh, or, you know, hand finish a shirt, you know, and that's a, a stark contrast to, you know, what you normally pay to have a shirt laundered, which is probably in the 2 to $3 range. But the problem with that person that's charging $12 is that, you know, they still press the shirt on a machine, right? That's applying a lot of pressure to the shirt, that's doing it very generically. And yes, they take an iron and they touch that up, yeah, but the amount of hand work involved in actually finishing that shirt is really not all that different than uh, what you get if you just send it to the generic service. The other part is that there's nothing else different about that dry cleaning process than from the two to three dollar process, even whenever you're paying twelve dollars. Rave, on the other hand, has a very, very detailed and highly specific process that they use for uh, laundering and really dry cleaning all their everything that comes through their dry cleaners. First, every single shirt passes through two different black lights in order to identify stains. Each one of those stains is. Uh, is then identified and specifically treated. Uh, and then the shirts go through a laundering process where uh, you know, all the water is absolutely clean, which you know, might be a surprise, but at a lot of uh, generic kind of dry cleaners, you know, a lot of that water is reused without being uh, properly filtered. So you're actually washing the shirts and, and dirty water. Uh, and then second, the entire shirt is hand pressed, right? There's not a single pressing machine that they use at Ray Fabricare. And so for really nice shirts, uh, you know, especially expensive shirts like a Charvet bespoke shirt, I mean, you could easily spend six, eight hundred dollars on, you know, you don't want to send that to just any generic dry cleaners. So here we go. Here is a um, linen shirt. This is actually a, a him or Johnny Brothers a linen shirt that is uh, made of David John Anderson, 100 uh, percent linen. This is probably the finest linen shirting that's available anywhere. And so again, something like this, especially because of the Cooper collar, you know, I don't want to just send it to any generic dry cleaners. Everything comes folded. And then what I really like is everything comes, um, you know, it's almost like a reverse vacuum seal. You know, they, they puff this and seal it so that whenever they ship this, it doesn't get crushed. Uh, and then, you know, what I'll do is I'll just simply either, you know, if something's out of season, you know, I'll actually leave the um, shirts in the box 
um, for storage. Otherwise, uh, like this linen shirt, I'll pull this out and then put it onto a hanger. Now you can see everything is really expertly folded. You know, the shirt collar is stuffed with tissue paper. It's got this little uh, plastic thing to keep the, um, the collar controlled. And then you pull this out and um, I mean, it's just an absolutely perfectly pressed shirt. As you can see, you know, the Cooper collar, which is, you know, really how I have all my casual shirts made is a very special one piece construction. You know, a lot of normal dry cleaners have a hard time pressing this so that it actually stands up, maintains its shape and no bunching. You'll also see across the collar, you know, all of my collars are unfused. Um, and so, again, a standard dry cleaner really has a lot of problems uh, preventing the wrinkling or bunching. Perfectly taken care of. Um, and, uh, you know, if you've got nice shirts that are precious to you, uh, you know, I don't recommend sending everything to Rave because it is uh, a pretty indulgent uh, kind of dry cleaners. But if you have anything important, I really wouldn't recommend sending it anywhere else. And that is the point. You know, the first time I sent my shirts to Rave, uh, you know, it really was uh, with quite a bit of skepticism. Uh, but whenever I received them back and saw what they were able to do for my shirts, I really was literally blown out of the water. Um, the other thing that I really appreciate is if you have any stretching in the collar, if you have any, you know, bad discoloration or stains, I've never seen anyone be able to turn back the time on a shirt the way that Rave has been able to do for some of my dress shirts. So here we go, Rave Fabric Care. If you haven't tried them, um, you know, give them a shot. I know it'll be with a skeptical eye that, uh, or a skeptical mind that you do so, um, but you won't be disappointed. And the other thing that is really unique about Rave Fabric Care is that they have a highly specialized production line, right? So they literally have one person that does all the hand pressing for their suits. So again, as everyone knows, a really nice bespoke or a handcrafted jacket is much of the shape is created by how that jacket is pressed uh, as is uh, how it is made. So if you send that nice jacket to a generic dry cleaner and they just put it on the form and press it, really all the three dimensional life and shape is pressed out of that garment and it comes back looking flat. Whereas at a place like Rave, there's one person that they have who all he does is specialize in pressing uh, jackets, who is able to press a suit jacket in the same way that a lot of bespoke tailors would press it, which is creating that beautiful roll of the collar and the shape. So again, if you have anything that is important, uh, you're not sending your garments to the dry cleaners often, I'm an absolute advocate for paying the extra money and sending it to a place that is actually going to take incredible care of that garment. So since we have this, let's see what else we have here. So this is, um, you know, my tuxedo shirt that I wore to a wedding. This is also made from a really incredible fabric. This is a um, My Taylor, Him or Johnny Brothers shirt, uh, but it's made from the uh, DJA, the David John Anderson, a 330 by three. A cotton twill, which is the finest cotton twill fabric uh, that I think has ever been made. I mean, incredibly difficult to make. It creates such an incredibly soft, uh, just elegant drape on this shirt. I mean, it's absolutely incredible to wear. A very special fabric. They actually had to do a three ply as opposed to a two to create uh, extra strength to the fiber because otherwise, whenever they, you know, wove this shirting, the fibers would break or the yarn would break. So, um, this is an example of a shirt that, again, I would only send to Rave. I don't trust my local dry cleaners, you know, to, uh, to, to launder, you know, such a nice, delicate shirt. And I'll actually leave this in my closet uh, in the bag uh, until I'm ready to wear it uh, the next time. Uh, and then this is, um, you know, just one of my standard bespoke Charvet shirts. Um, I'm a huge advocate of uh, Charvet Bespoke. I think if anyone's in Paris and has the opportunity to go by the Bespoke uh, you know, floor at Charvet, it is an experience uh, in and of itself. It's really a sator sartorial you know, pilgrimage, rite of passage. Uh, I think they make the finest dress shirt in the world. Um, you know, you pay dearly for it, but there's no finer shirt that you can get out there. Uh, and, you know, people 
that really kind of bicker about the price of the Charvet shirt because you can certainly find shirts like from my tailor that are more than, uh, you know, less than half the cost and uh, almost the same quality. Uh, I mean, you can find those things. But people that, you know, really get into kind of a price comparison with Charvet are completely missing the point. I mean, Charvet quite literally invented the men's dress shirt. They invented it back in the early 20th century. You can read it on the Wikipedia page. Uh, and then, you know, Jean-Claude, who is the, um, you know, uh, current owner, um, he and his sister inherited the company from their father. He studied textile engineering, right? So the fabric selections that you have at Charvet are just one of a kind and really can't be found anywhere else. I mean, if you go to any other bespoke shop, you're gonna be selecting your fabric swatches from a book. You go to Charvet, and it's this magnificent room full of thousands of bolts of fabric that are entirely unique to Charvet. It's just absolutely incredible. So I'm gonna open this up. And uh, one of my favorite uh, fabrics from Charvet, I actually uh, have a shirt, uh, had a shirt made for Nathaniel uh, in this same fabric. So as you can see, I mean, this shirt is absolutely masterfully uh, pressed. Uh, the front placket, you know, lies down completely flat on both sides. It's one of my pet peeves of dry cleaners is that whenever they throw the shirt in the press, if this is at all folded over, it's going to prevent the placket from lying down straight. You know, I've never received a broken button from Rave. Uh, if they uh, ever, if they even catch a broken button, they replace it for you. And the Charvet shirts, you know, have hand uh, sewn button shanks. So again, it's important that these aren't kind of jammed whenever they're pressed. Uh, you know, the cuffs again, beautifully pressed, absolutely no creasing. You know, absolutely love unboxing my Ray Fabric or dry cleaning. Uh, we are in no way affiliated with them. Stu Bloom's a good friend of mine. I've been using them for several years. If you can afford to send your dry cleaning to Ray Fabric Care, if you have anything important, uh, I would absolutely recommend considering them. Or also, if you've had a dry cleaner uh, ruin anything, you know, you can always send it to Ray Fabric Care and see if they can fix it because they've been able to do that for me also. Uh, more importantly, I just want to make the point that, again, it's important to understand that the lifetime of any garment can be measured and how often it's sent to the dry cleaners or laundered. And so you want to do that as sparingly as possible. And then whenever it is done, you want it done, uh, you want it done well and you want it done properly. So saving money, you know, at the dry cleaner, it, you know, if it's a shirt that's not important to you, great. But if it's something that you've invested in, then I really encourage you uh, to actually protect and extend the life of that investment by um, sending it to a really high quality dry cleaners. I'm Kirby Allison, founder of The Hanger Project. Thanks for joining me. Um, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel uh, by clicking the red subscribe button so that you can get notifications whenever uh, more great videos come out. Uh, if you have any questions, um, feel free to ask them in the comments section below. I respond to most of those myself. Uh, and uh, again, thanks for joining us. Um, we love helping the well-dressed take care of their wardrobes.